Hello and good day. You are highly welcome for today's tutorial. Yes, on the board we have a question under the label variances. Remember, I've given us an introductory video on um, standard costing in general. I've solved the question on the material variance and now we're looking on the, another question under the label variance. With this variance, with these examples I've given out to you with these videos, it will help you understand standard costing at least to an extent. So, let's proceed. The standard labor cost of product C is 4 hours of grade M labor at 3 Naira per hour. During June, 200 units were produced at a total cost of 2,433 Naira 50 cover for 785 hours of work. Required. Calculate labor cost variance labor rate variance and labor efficiency variance. So let's proceed. Solutions. Now question number one. A says labor costs variance. Labor cost variance. Now what is the formula for labor cost variance? We have our labor cost variance is equal to what? Our standard cost minus our actual cost. Standard cost minus our actual cost. Now, what is our standard cost here? Let's read the question again. It says the standard, you've seen it. So every information we're getting from here now has to do with the standard cost. It says the standard labor cost of product C is four hours of grade M labor at three naira per hour then during june 200 now during june 200 units were produced we are produced now has to do with what everything that has to do with our actual cost okay so during june 200 units were produced at a total labor cost of 2435 and so on for 705 hours so to get our standard cost here we're going to multiply for times 3 hours and 200 units okay so we have our labor cost variance will now equal to what 4 times 3 naira per hour sorry yes 3 naira per hour times 200 units times 200 units minus our actual cost now what is the actual cost 200 units we are produced at a total labor cost of so this is our actual cost so we have picked the value 2433.50 okay so by the time we multiply these figures we have here it gives us what it gives us 2400 2400 minus 2000 433.50 okay so 2400 minus 2433 points this gives us what minus what 33.5 okay now as i told us in standard costing generally once you have a negative sign we don't make use of it okay we'll now write what adverse a adverse so this is our final answer Okay, for question number one, the answer is 33.5 adverse. So, B. The second question says labor rate variance. So, we'll write again labor rate variance. Labor rate variance. Now, for labor rate variance, let's continue. What is the formula for our labor rate variance? We have what? The actual R. Then in brackets, the standard rate minus the actual rates. Okay? So, what is our actual R in this question? The actual R is what? We have our actual R to be 785. Watch. Of 2000 days for 785 hours of work. Remember I told us at this level now, everything we have here represents our actual cost. What we have here represents our standard cost. As I also told us in the previous video, under the material variance, that you must learn how to differentiate between the standard cost and the actual cost. So, 
we take 785 as our actual R, then in brackets, our standard rate. Now, what is our standard rate? Our standard rate is what? We'll go back again and we'll take a good look at it. This is the standard cost of production. It's four hours of grid M label at three naira per hour. So this three naira per hour we have here is now the standard rate, okay? So we have our standard rate as three minus, we have it as three minus, now we need to get our actual rate. And to get our actual rate, remember I told us this value represents what the actual cost. So we have 2433.50 now, which is the cost at 785 hours. To, to get the actual rate, we now have to divide 2433.50 by 785. So what we do here, we now have what? 2433.50 divide by 785. 785 okay now we'll come down again it is equal to 785 in brackets 3 minus so by the time we divide these two figures it's going to give us what 3.1 3.1 so 785 785 in brackets 3 minus 3.1 gives us what minus 0.1 Okay, already looking at this minus sign, it tells us we are going to have an adverse as a final answer. So, once we multiply these two values, it now gives us what? 78.5 adverse. You can use your calculator to confirm it. 78.5 adverse. So, we move over to the third question. The third one, question C, says what? Labor efficiency variance. So we have label efficiency variance. Now, what is our formula for labor efficiency variance? We have labor efficiency variance is equal to what? We have our standard rates. Then in brackets, we also have what? Our standard R minus our actual R. So what is our standard rates? Our standard rate is what? Three. Okay, we can see standard rate three is what we made is of three. So what is the standard R? What is our standard R? Now to get our standard R, we now have to do what? Since they told us that the standard labor cost of product C is four hours of grade M labor at three naira per hour. So what we actually do here to get the actual the standard R, we now have to multiply this by two hundred units that was produced. So our standard R here will be what? Four times which is the four hours times 200 units okay four times 200 then minus the actual hour and this word represents our actual hour 785 hours so we have 785 so we have three then four times 200 is what 800 minus 785 okay so we'll come down again we have three then 800 minus 785, it gives us what? 15. 15. So this question, the answer is going to be a favorable answer. So 3 times 15 is equal to what? It gives us 45F. Why do we use F? Because it is favorable. Remember I told us, if it is a positive sign, it is favorable. When I told us that if the actual cost is less than the standard cost, or the actual revenue is greater than the standard revenue, then it is favorable. If the actual cost is less than this, is greater than the standard cost, or the actual revenue is lesser than the standard revenue, it is adverse and it is represented with a negative sign. So this question here we have here what is um, favorable. Now let me tell us something again to confirm your answer to be sure if you have the correct answer. Ever, after solving these questions. Your labor rate variance and your labor efficiency variance, this value you have here and this value, by the time you add them together, it must give you a labor cost variance. If it doesn't give you the same answer, that means you've made a mistake somewhere. You need to recalculate. You need to check your workings. Okay? Likewise, on the material price variance, the material variances, your material price variance 
and your material usage variance must give you the same with the material cost variance. So, my dear friends, I believe this video is well explanatory. But if you have questions or you need clarifications, you send us a mail or you leave a comment below this and we will definitely reply your chat. We wish you the best in all you do and do have a wonderful day. Stay blessed and goodbye.